Interesting. That's just, we're just, you know, that's just a coincidence. You're right, Kane. That's just how that stuff works. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that's how it works. So this, this whole, uh, I don't know. I just, I, I, the New York Times had the story. His statement is out also. And I'm pulling his, uh, his statement up. He says he's, he's stepping down to pursue his next chapter. He's advised seven presidents, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about any of that. I'm, I'm curious about what would be discovered if, you know, he actually, we, we went and we actually had a, a house oversight. We just questioned him under oath. I'm just very curious as to what we would find. His statement, the New York Times had this also, uh, he said that he's stepping down and that he is going to pursue the next chapter of his career. He says he's not retiring. He says he wants to use what he has learned as NIAID director, his government job, to, quote, continue to advance the science and public health and inspire mentor the next generation, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I just, it sounds like he's going in the private sector. That's what it sounds like. Mm-hmm. So he's been on the public dole for forever. So, I mean, it makes sense, I guess, right? He said that he's, he's not retiring, though. And he's leaving his work in very capable hands. Okay. Well, there. Yeah. And so the White House had made, they remarked on it because they said, oh, Biden worked with him when Fauci was, uh, during the whole Zika thing, when Obama was president and Biden was vice president. There's just, though, I mean, he's, because he gets a lot of, he, he's going to get a lot of money from this I don't know if you because he's got he's got like a sweet he's got a sweet setup I mean the guy's made a lot of money my friend Phil Kirpin said that his pension is going to pay $350,000 a year that's the highest ever and so that's you know when because he's retiring because his I mean his golden parachute I mean just Forbes has a big piece on this his and uh, Adam Angievsky wrote this over at Forbes and he, he he writes his beats all about government waste he's I've known I've known Adam Angievsky for years and his he noted and this was just a year ago the amount of money that he that he's he gets from his golden parachute one of the highest I mean I think the highest federal employee his retirement pay is going to be you know o- almost uh, you know, you're looking at 350 350 thousand dollars a year and then he gets an annuity and so he gets a lot of money for this one of the highest and of course obviously he gets the benefit of not testifying before which i could only imagine would be uh senator Rand paul before any kind of senate committee or the gop controlled house some people are saying oh it looks like he's Looks like he's he thinks that the Republicans are going to take the Senate, and that's why he's getting out. Well, I think it's, I mean, you know, perhaps the House also, but I I think he he also see, I mean, maybe I mean it could very well be he's also 81 years old. I mean, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I am, at this point apparently. So his there were a couple of really interesting threads about him, and like for instance, in our row had one, how his he got zero criticism for the complete 180 that he did on masks in the pandemic and that y- you apparently can't criticize him without being called yourself a, a conspiracy theorist. That was the thing that really, I mean, honestly confused me in the very beginning because he was out there telling everybody, you don't need to wear masks. You don't need to worry about it. It's stupid. And then he did a total 180 without any explanation at all whatsoever saying, oh, no, no, actually, yeah, you do need to wear a mask. It's, it, it's really important. Well, if it wasn't predicated upon science, then why was, why was there this huge change? You know, why was there a change? If it wasn't about science, why was there this change? It's the question we all have. He never actually answered either why so much taxpayer money was going towards all of the gain-of-function stuff. I mean, that's that's... You know, I, 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 there, there's some really legitimate questions here. Or when he had admitted that a lot of his advice, do you remember the audio soundbite when he was saying that a lot of it was about sending signals? He, it was about behavioral control rather than being based upon any kind of science to minimize the spread of infection. 
Everybody acted like he was, you know, this this uh, uh, this guru. But he was he's a politician just as much as anybody else. And he never got any criticism for that. There was never any criticism about how his back and forth to satisfy political appetites actually ended up reducing the American trust in everything he was doing. (laughs) 